Welcome to Kurt's Home Living. I'm going to make a quick surf and turf dinner. And these are the items that I'll be using in today's meal. Welcome back. Today I'm going to make a quick 15 or minute less, 15 minutes or less steak dinner with some baked potatoes, uh, sweet potato, I have a T-bone, I have some strip steaks, I mean uh, some ribeyes, Delmonico's, some shrimp. I made me some uh, compound butter with some parsley, thyme, rosemary, garlic in it. I have a few uh, mushrooms. I have some shredded Mexican style four blend cheese I'm gonna use at the last minute for my, my steamed broccoli. I have a egg wash over here to batter my shrimp. I'm gonna be frying those shrimp. I'm going to cook the ribeyes in a cast iron skillet and I'm going to cook the T-bone in the, in the broiler. Just to get a difference uh, or two ways to make a steak. Okay, let's get started. First things first. I'm going to get these potatoes boiled up. I, I wash my... Um, I wash my potatoes in soap and water if I'm going to eat them for baked potatoes because I'll be, I'll be eating the skins. So I make sure they're thoroughly washed. And I just like to take a fork and poke a few holes in them. A few on each side. Sweet potato is pretty big, so I know I'll probably be taking the white potatoes out before the sweet potato. All right, let's go with some olive oil. Just put a little bit in this uh, dish right here that they were sitting in. And I have my microwave, I, I'm gonna cook these potatoes in the microwave. I have my microwave dish in here with a paper towel on it. And I'm gonna just sit these potatoes on there. Just a quick, easy meal, 15 minutes or less. I'm gonna take some sea salt and coat the outside. I think I'm gonna use a grinder. I have some the same sea salt in here. It'll break it down a little bit better. And that's it. I'm gonna start those off with a microwave on 10 minutes. Okay, now we're gonna get our broccoli ready. Basically, we cut these into florets.
a bit of light rinse on these. And I save all my pieces and use them in my stock. Make my own veggie stock. Or for soups, beans. Too much water in here. Let's go with our salt. Okay, drop it. Now let's get our pan heated up. You go ahead and turn this broccoli on. Let's get these steaks together. Olive oil. Salt. pepper. All you need for a good steak. I'm going to be getting some fur flavor from my, this rosemary and garlic. Everything was already rinsed and, and, and dried. You don't want your steak to be wet when you're pan searing it. Or anyway, whether you're rolling it, baking it. I'm gonna turn my oil on for my uh, for my shrimp. Okay, I'm gonna set these to the side. Go ahead and get our shrimp breaded. Of course, I got my two rags and my bleach water over here. I take these shrimp and I'm gonna put them in some flour. I butterfly these, deveined them. Depending on what mood I'm in, sometimes I keep them whole. take these and put these in the egg wash which is nothing but an egg and butter milk egg and milk Now I have some uh, breading over here, the cornmeal, flour, and breadcrumbs. And I usually use, say, a cup of flour, I mean a cup of cornmeal, a half cup of flour, and a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. That's usually my remedy for uh, my breading. For mainly fish and seafood. 
pork chop, I use like a cup of flour and a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. The chicken is all flour. Shake these up and sit these to the side. That's that. Okay, I have a, a bacon dish in a boiling pan. I'm going to cook the T bone on this. I think I'm going to cook two steaks on this. One the T-bone and one of the Delmonicos. Go ahead and get that on broil. The pan looks like it's nice and hot. We can go down. Let that sear. Well, I need butter. All right, I found some butter. Checking this broccoli, make sure we don't run out of water. I just took two of those potatoes out, they were done. Let's go ahead and drop our. That's it. At this moment, we're going to start putting our uh, some butter, some oil. Go with our garlic and our rosemary. Mushrooms. Put a little salt on the mushrooms. No onions in this meal.
All right, my steak is where it needs to be. I'll grab these out. Get a napkin ready. Okay, that's it on the broccoli. Let's throw about a quarter of a stick of butter in here. Sprinkle a cheese on here. Let that stuff melt into it. Turn the fire off, put the top back on. And that's all we're going to do with the broccoli. Go ahead and take our shrimp out. Potatoes are done. I forgot to buy fresh mushrooms, but I had a can, so. Put a little work after in that. a little more cheese on top. Well, we have our um, steaks over there nice and hot. I'm going to open up my butter. Sit it on top of our steak. Okay, we're gonna get those two steaks out. The steaks weren't close enough to the flame, so I cooked them medium well, but I I didn't get the color and the sear that I wanted on them under the broiler. I'm gonna take our juice from this pan. Pour it in with our mushrooms. Go with the Worcester sauce and the butter. I usually add a drizzle of ketchup as well. I just didn't do it this time. Put our 
pound butter on top of these two steaks. Please check out my granddaughter's YouTube page, Amira's World, and my grandson's Fun with Mellow. and T-bone steaks, half in a cast iron skillet and half in the broiler with the compound butter made of garlic, parsley, thyme, rosemary, mushrooms sauteed with more garlic, breaded shrimp, butterfly, golf shrimp, Baked sweet potato and regular potatoes, crusted with sea salt, and steamed cheesy broccoli, fresh broccoli. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. I would have liked to have got a better sear on all the steaks, but nonetheless, they were all cooked to medium well. The next time I'll raise the broiler pan up a little higher so the flames closer to the steaks in the oven, and I'll put a press on the steaks that are in the pan. The shrimp was crispy, cooked to perfection, the potato was perfect, and the broccoli was delicious. Matter of fact, this whole meal was delicious. Thanks for watching Kurt's Home Living. Steak, shrimp, baked potato, and broccoli.